This play that the defendant was your tenant. Yes. In a house that you currently have listed for sale. Yes. And it is your claim that she damaged the house. You want some $2,500 for the damage. When did you purchase the house? I bought the property in July 2014. And I lived in the home for three months and then I ended up renting the home in October. Why? Because the commute was too far. I worked downtown, and so the drive was too much. Well, the house didn't move, and downtown didn't move. You mean you didn't make that trip before you bought the house? No. Okay. You purchased it for how much? I bought the home for 118000 And when did the defendant move in? October 2014. Why didn't you put it up for sale in October? I just purchased the home. I only owned it for three months. Mm -hmm. I did not want to turn around and sell it. I wanted to keep it as my retirement. What changed your mind? What changed my mind is I had a hard tenant that cost me a lot of money and I could not afford to keep it and pay taxes after dealing with repairs. So the house needed a lot of repairs? Yeah. What kind of repairs did it need? The garage door was broken. I had missing garage door openers. They rekeyed it. No, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about what repairs had to be done with the house that had nothing to do with the defendant. When I purchased it, none. What about the leaks outside? The leaks outside happened after she moved in. She complained that the hose on the outside was leaking and causing her water bill to be rising. And so I kept sending a handyman out there. He actually put a repair kit on it and he provided receipts. I have invoices. And when she claimed that it was leaking, he kept going out and saying that there's nothing. Okay. And what did you put it on the market for? Because it- No, what, for what amount? I put it on for 139.9. In what month did you put it on the market? I want to say beginning of September. And on what date did you move out? I moved out of the home in the month of... I moved out August 8th. What was the rent you were paying? $1,000 a month. You moved in in what month? October 15th, 2014. You paid your rent? Correct. There's no indication that she did not pay her rent, correct? Correct. Okay. And you moved to evict her in July? Yes. What reason did you give her for wanting her out of the premises? Since the time that she moved in, I had multiple complaints from the neighbors, and also um, a landscaper refused to go back to the house, saying that people were offering him drugs, and I just had an agreement with her that she was going to move her daughter in for an additional fee of 300 and then when it came time to pay up, she didn't pay, and she made every excuse why not to pay, and so I just got an attorney at that point. So she wanted to add a tenant. Right. But the tenant was more than just her daughter. It was her daughter, her daughter's boyfriend, and then her daughter's daughter. And I don't even know if it was truly her daughter. But she asked you before that happened? Just for the daughter, not the boyfriend and the baby. Got it. Okay. Did you have a lease agreement with her? Yes. And the lease agreement provided for who to live there? The husband, the wife, and three minor children. Okay. And this was the daughter that you wanted to move in? Her boyfriend and the baby were not among those children, is that correct? I only asked for my daughter and her baby to move in, and no, they were not among those children. Okay, and did they in fact move in? She had given me verbal permission, so yes. Did you also have an agreement to pay more rent? At that time, the lease was not modified. We were in the process of dealing with modifying the lease. You mean to pay more rent? Correct. Well, it would seem to me that you do that simultaneously, that you say, I want another family to move in, and she says, fine but your rent is going to be increased by such and such an amount. That's not something that you do. You can move the new family in, but we can worry about the additional rent later. That doesn't make sense. Did you agree to pay her an additional $300 a month? In the beginning, yes. Did you ever pay the $300 no. a month? And how many months did your daughter and her baby and maybe the boyfriend live there? Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. And that was in what month? May. Anybody else move into the house? No, that's at the time it was my daughter and my grandson. Nobody else had lived with me. Nobody else, just you and the people who are basic to the lease? Correct. You have any proof otherwise? In the month of April, she asked to add on her daughter. So her daughter's been staying since April. She said she moved out in May. Do you have any indication that the daughter did not move out in May? Yes, I do have an indication that her daughter did not move out in May. I have a rental application that she applied for her daughter to move in May 17th. The middle of May? Yes. But she said she moved out in May, and she and was there only not. two weeks. Mm-hmm. Is that what you, is that Correct, what you Your Honor. Said? May I see pictures of the damage, please? Yes. Well, this isn't damage, this is garbage. Okay. And is what you're showing me the broken screen? Broken screen, yes. 